and welcome to Megawatt, the Tech Week in View. I'm Katie Scott and we're going to give you a rundown of this week's hottest news stories and what we thought of them, so stay tuned. So Nokia has now launched Comes With Music and it's very exciting because it means unlimited music downloads, but here's the key problem. Basically, Nokia seems to have annoyed the operators with this, and none other than Vodafone, T-Mobile, Orange and O2 have shown their displeasure by not signing up to the service. Why? Well, basically, they can make money by offering similar services to Comes With Music instead of Nokia offering it. So Nokia is basically taking money out of their pockets. <laughs> So Apple versus the music industry round 101 and Apple it seems has won yet again. The US Copyright Board has decided that the fees that Apple has to pay the music industry for the music on iTunes aren't going to go up. So a sigh of relief for all of those Apple execs but also for iTunes fans it means five years of no legal wranglings and hopefully the prices won't go up. <laughs> So another day, another data loss scandal. Well, in fact, Tuesday, there were three. All I have to say is some people somewhere really need to just get it together. I'm a journalist, and if I lose a data stick or a CD, it's not the end of the world. It's annoying, and my boss will yell at me, but it's not the end of the world. These scandals, though, have affected thousands of people, from teachers through to RAF personnel through to normal people who didn't even realise the amount of information these organisations have on them. Someone somewhere has got to stop these leaks these losses happening because if there's another story about a camera or a data stick or a computer ending up on eBay and all of this information going public, well, it's got beyond ridiculous. Are you sitting comfortably, children? Because I want to tell you a tale of two phones. Without naming names, a fairly famous phone manufacturer came out with an 8 megapixel camera phone not so long ago. There was also lots of other technology packed in there, but the 8 megapixel camera was pretty important. But just days later, a rival manufacturer, who I'm also not going to name, also came out with an 8 megapixel camera phone. And the key difference between the two models, 0.15 millimeters in thickness, yes, 0.15 millimeters difference in the thickness of the phone's chassis. Time will tell if there's lots more differences in technology, but a brief glance would say not. And all I would say is, come on chaps, there's gotta be more to technology than this, because size isn't everything. That was Megawatt, the Tech Week in View. If you're watching this on YouTube, why not visit www.megawatt.tv for tips, tricks, and quick reviews of all of the hottest products from the world of gadgets and technology. Thanks for watching.